This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Here we go then, this is the very most expensive reverb pedal ever, I think. Uh, something made by Chase Bliss. It's their, it's their second automotone pedal, and this one's their reverb made with Fanta! Made with Chase Bliss and Meris. Um, I wanted to check it out, um, but yeah, I got this one for quite a good price, to, to be honest, second hand. Uh, knew these are insane money. Reminds me of the kind of Lexicon stuff, which presumably sort of inspired this in some ways. Um, let's check out how it sounds. 
So we've essentially got three main algorithms on here. We've got room, plate, or hall reverb. I guess you can think about this really as being heavily inspired by the Lexicon 224, uh, which came out in 1978. This kind of looks reminiscent of this controller for that as well, uh, the slider setup and all that sort of stuff. Um, we've got bypass, obviously, we've got presets and banks and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not really going to get into that too much. I just wanted to investigate some of these tones. So we'll start with the room and yeah, let's just listen with a mix fairly high, I guess. I'm on lo-fi there. Let's put that to hi-fi. Obviously got pre-delay here. Um, and then essentially we use both the bass and mids to, if you put them up together like this, you basically just affect the, the effect or the reverb tail all together. And then we can set where the crossover goes, so that's affecting then the, the mids will have a slightly long, uh, shorter tail, the bass will have the longest tail. Something like that, right? Also got diffusion settings. Kind of where you start to smear those reverb. And then kind of the, the treble we can add that kind of. Shimmery stuff. This is the one setting which I think kind of deserves a bit more control, the tank mod, because you can see that that kind of goes between being quite full on to kind of Leslie-ish there. Right, let's just um, jump into the plate then.
And if we get, again, really bonkers with this long tail thing. Oh, I guess as well you can hear basically the... Anyway, essentially there's a, a lot of flexibility within that and relatively simple. Then there's one really cool thing about the hall reverb. Which is that if we go into lo-fi mode, turn to fusion off. Get these kind of polymoon esque. Delays.
If I had to have one criticism of this, I think it's sort of disappointing to have something with presets like this and not really have trails in between these preset changes because it is quite noticeable if you go from some of these really long tails to something more natural. Um, that would be a criticism. Uh, I guess it's really, this is not just for guitarists this pedal is it? For, for a guitar pedal this is incredibly expensive. I think in some ways this is designed to be a small box which goes in a studio um, for folks that might have used something like a Lexicon which at the time when that came out that was around sort of seven to eight thousand dollars an incredible amount of money compared to that I guess this is cheap but to any normal person this is a relatively expensive reverb and if you had something like the Big Sky or some pedals like that I think those would have trails in between preset changes right so I think you could get similar sorts of tones to this with a Strymon or an Empress or something like that and maybe you'd even be able to have the trails in between so that's kind of the one sort of downside I think to this relatively let me know your thoughts in the comments you dig in those reverbs or not uh, and do you think that's an overpriced pedal or not catch you in another video soon cheers